Hi, I'm Peter Schlegel, a urologist in New York and an expert in male infertility. I'd like to present some new information that was recently brought out on isotretinoin, an agent that's used as a potential magic bullet to treat non-obstructive azospermia. In this presentation, I'm briefly going to go over background information about both the condition of non-obstructive azospermia and isotretinoin. So non-obstructive azospermia is a severe male infertility condition where sperm production is very, very low. Sperm production, in fact, is so poor that no sperm reach the ejaculate. This can be a frustrating condition both for providers and patients, and many men cannot be successfully treated with our current interventions. A medical treatment, which could be a magic pill, has been elusive so far. So what is actually happening within the testicle within this condition? Well, this is a schematic view within the testicle showing in black areas of what are called seminiferous tubules, the part of the testicle that can make sperm. If you have non-obstructive azospermia, then most of these areas of the testicle are not working as shown by these empty seminiferous tubules. If we look further in detail within those tubules, we have a clear understanding of what is happening. There are two parts within the tubules. One are these areas with Sertoli cells, and the other part that is supposed to be here are germ cells, sperm-making cells that basically drive sperm production and develop into sperm themselves. So, normally you have Sertoli cells as well as germ cells, but in the testicle it's not working well. You may have Sertoli cells alone without any germ cells or germ cells that are not developing well. So, Sertoli cell only then exists when most areas of the seminiferous tubules, the areas where sperm production is supposed to occur, have no cells that can develop into sperm. It's really a structural issue. These cells are missing and no medical treatment will fix this. Reprogramming of other cells from the body is needed, what's referred to as a stem cell based treatment, which unfortunately we don't have and may not have for many years. But this Sertoli cell only pattern is present for the vast majority of men with non-obstructive azospermia, over 70%. Our current approach is to have surgery to find an area of the testis, like those black tubules I showed in the last illustration, that may be better, that don't have Sertoli only and have small pockets of sperm production. For those men who have germ cells present, medical treatment might help sperm development. Those men with predominant Sertoli cell only are less likely to respond to such a treatment, but the men with germ cells present that are arrested in development could respond to a treatment. This condition is referred to as maturation arrest. It occurs when development of sperm within the testis is stopping, it's arrested. So, non-obstructive azospermia candidates for treatment with medications should predominantly include men with maturation arrest. But it's important to remember, in men who have, who have maturation arrest within the testicle, we will often occasionally see sperm in the ejaculate, even without any medical treatment. Now let's turn to the studies recently presented. They used a drug called isotretinoin. Why this drug? Well, we know that the human testis has low retinoic acid, vitamin A levels, and they decrease progressively as sperm production decreases. So vitamin A can have a role in low sperm production. Isotretinoin is a potent vitamin A derivative that's otherwise used to treat acne and some increase in sperm counts and fertility has been noted in humans when they were treated with isotretinoin. 
Sperm have also been found in the ejaculate for up to four to nine men with previously documented non-obstructive azospermia who are on isotretinoin. Isotretinoin is an easily available medication commonly used for acne. Unfortunately, it's what's called a teratogen. It is a drug that causes birth defects when it's taken by pregnant women. And if taken by children, it can affect childhood development relatively severely. So it's critical to avoid exposure of women during early pregnancy with this drug. There's also some adverse effects on men that have been seen, including decreased testosterone levels and even erectile dysfunction. There's commonly some depression, dry lips, drier thinning of the skin, but it is promising that a relationship between vitamin A deficiency and impaired sperm production in humans has been noted. In part two, I will discuss a new study that has been presented which documents the potential benefit of isotretinoin in treating non-obstructive azospermia.